Hey everybody, today I wanna to share with you something I'm super excited about, and this is the way our ancient ancestors really protected their collagen and built more collagen in their body. Now, these are things today I'm gonna to show you that I have in my own house that are ancient Asian secrets used again throughout Asia and other areas of the world to help boost collagen, for, to help people live longer uh, as well. And so I'm, today I'm gonna to talk about teas, I'm gonna talk about roots, roots and herbs, and I'm gonna talk about mushrooms as well. So let's dive in. First, let me go ahead and talk about matcha. Now, matcha is probably my favorite beverage to have in the morning. Now, sometimes I'll do some espresso. We got an espresso machine here in my kitchen. But the other thing I love doing is matcha green tea. Matcha is this powder, and by the way, this is a ceremonial grade matcha, okay? It's a very good matcha. And that just means that it's the clean, it's the best part of the plant. And this is also USDA certified organic. Now, this ceremonial grade matcha is really high in an antioxidant called EGCG, that stands for epigalactic catechin. And the health benefits, if you would go online and just search for on a search engine, benefits of matcha green tea, you will be blown away at its benefits for energy, at its benefits for anti-aging, especially, at its benefits at fighting uh, you know, different health problems. It, it's, it's totally incredible, and so that's why, to me, it's my favorite beverage to have just throughout the day because it's, it's the best natural energy booster that I know of on the entire planet that also helps you age slower and has been shown about 100 times over. If you look up green tea, which this has three times the antioxidants as any green tea. This is the king of all green teas. Matcha has three times the levels of antioxidants as regular green tea. That's what makes it so extraordinary. So I take a teaspoon of this, add it to some almond milk, mix it up. Now you can buy products. This isn't the only brand. There's lots of good matcha brands out there. I like doing a matcha that has a little bit of coconut milk or, or, or MCT powder. You can buy a, uh, you know, other brands, brands that have uh, other ancient ingredients. That's a good idea. But again, just in general, matcha green tea is so beneficial. This is still what they consume, the number one beverage of choice in areas like Japan and Okinawa where they have the longest lifespan. They drink a lot. That's where it's grown. It's grown in or this is organic Japanese green tea. This is part of the reason why they're living so long over there. So I want to encourage you, if you haven't tried matcha, drink it. Over time, you'll come to crave it and love it. So again, matcha, that EGCG, aptocalycatechin, the polyphenols, these are antioxidants that protect your body's collagen. That's the big benefit here. It's one thing you want to boost your body's collagen, and that's great, but the other critical part of aging slower and healing and your body getting better is protecting the collagen you already have. Matcha is one of the top things on the planet for protecting your body's own collagen. You can drink this as a tea. Now, one of the things I like to do is I will sometimes take ginger and turmeric root, I will chop them up in quarter-like slices, and I will boil them for about an hour in water, in a pot, or simmer it to where it's almost boiling, and then I'll add in my matcha to that liquid, and then I'll drink a matcha ginger turmeric tea as well. This is a really cost-effective way to do this. Just buying the roots of ginger and turmeric can be really cost-effective for you. You can make a big batch of tea that way, drink it for the whole week. Anyways, that's a good thing to do, and you can water it down. It gets really potent, especially with the ginger, by the way. But again, let me talk about each of these roots individually. Turmeric contains two compounds that are just, actually it contains many compounds. Most of them though are in the same family of what's called curcuminoids. You probably have heard of curcumin. Now curcumin and curcuminoids are anti-inflammatory. They reduce inflammation. You know, most diseases today are inflammatory in nature. In fact, when we hear of things like anything with an itis at the end, I-T-I-S in Latin, that means inflammation. So arthritis means inflammation of your joints. Um, colitis means inflammation of your colon. Most things like heart disease today, it's not caused by cholesterol, it's caused by inflammation of your arteries, which is why your body is laying down cholesterol in the first place. So if you just reduce inflammation, the body would stop producing all the extra cholesterol. So all that being said, reducing inflammation, that is the key to preserving collagen and to healing your body from a majority of diseases out there today and turmeric according to medical studies is probably the most powerful herb spice on the planet for reducing inflammation because of the compound curcumin which is in turmeric here. Here's the other secret though, turmeric contains another compound called tumorone. 
And what Tumorone does is it supports your body in producing stem cells, especially of your brain and neurological system. And so if somebody's looking to prevent Alzheimer's and dementia or any type of neurodegenerative disease, taking turmeric in large doses is one of the best things they can do. So turmeric is very, very unique for that reason. It's an, another reason why if somebody asks me, Dr. Rax, what herbs do you consume the most? By far for me, it's turmeric. Probably following that, it's ginger and green tea. These are the ones I'm just sharing with you personally and from all the medical research. These are the ones that are the most powerful for your health. Next herb here, let's talk about ginger. Ginger contains many things. It contains something called gingerols, which are uh, found a lot in the essential oil. So it's kind of the oily part. Gingerols also reduce inflammation. And there's another compound in ginger called gingerbrine, which acts as an enzyme. It could actually be a meat tenderizer, but it helps you break down and digest foods better. That's why if somebody has any digestive issue, especially leaky gut syndrome, uh, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, candida, uh, loose stool, any of those issues, ginger root is something you should be consuming every single day. Ginger is anti-inflammatory. It's also immune boosting. It helps boost your immune system. So lots of benefits of ginger here because of gingerols and gingerbrine there as well. Z gingerbrine, if you ever taste that bite, like you have a turmeric shot or turmeric, you're like, whoa, that's like that spiciness, that's that ginger brain that's in there, but that's also what helps you, your digestive system and your immune system that much. Last but not least, this is reishi mushroom. Now listen, this is a reishi powder. I'll crack it open, especially when I'm traveling, put it in there. I also take reishi capsules uh, really frequently. But reishi mushroom and medicinal mushrooms like cordyceps and lion's mane and maitake and shiitake, these mushrooms have great benefits. Reishi though, when it was consumed as a tea or a broth, like a mushroom broth, it was known as the mushroom of immortality, okay? Because it was known to really strengthen your adrenal glands. If you go online after watching this video and you just do a, do a, a search engine search for reishi mushroom, pull up of what a picture of a lot of the reishi mushroom looks like. It's amazing. Here's what it looks like. Your kidneys. Look up what your kidney looks like versus what your a reishi, what, what the mushroom looks like when it's growing on a tree, that's because reishi mushroom in Chinese medicine was known to impact and strengthen your, uh, your kidneys and what sits on top of your kidneys, it's your adrenal gland, your adrenals. Uh, your adrenals are kind of like your iPhone battery, okay? So, or your, whatever phone battery you have. You guys see it on like 80% power, 50, 20, five. That's what your adrenals are. You wanna be powered up. You know, a number of conditions are caused by adrenal issues. Hypothyroidism oftentimes is actually because of an adrenal issue. Infertility oftentimes with women can be caused by an adrenal issue. Your body doesn't have enough battery power. Your body's saying to itself, well, I don't have enough battery power right now to power the thyroid. I don't have enough battery power to create another human being. I don't have enough battery power to think straight. One of the most important things everybody should be doing is working on strengthening their adrenals over time. You do that in several ways. One is getting good quality sleep. Okay, that's number one. Number two is reducing stress in your life and building joy. And number three is consuming a category of foods called adaptogens. And one of the king of adaptogens in the most adaptogenic mushroom is reishi mushroom. So you want to know what they do in Asia and in Japan to where Japan has more centurions. It's more people that have lived to be over 100 than anywhere else in the world. You know how they do that? Right here. It's matcha green tea. It's turmeric root. It's ginger. It's reishi mushroom. And then it's also not overeating sugar and refined foods and carbohydrates, all the junk. And it's also doing practices where they're building peace in their life. They're doing natural movements like Tai Chi and, and movements and riding bikes and just being active on a daily basis. But if you want to get an edge and protect your body's own collagen and support its growth, these are some of the ancient secrets I wanted to share with you. I hope you've enjoyed these videos on ancient wisdom to naturally boost and protect collagen.